preaching lament is, I think, a part of the gospel. Because the gospel, theologically, so it's a theological move first, it includes the crucifixion. It includes suffering, it includes a wounded God. And so I think that's, first off, that's important. If we're thinking about the Psalms of Lament, of course, it, it, it's a guide in terms of thinking about the movement that one, you know, older Old Testament scholars would say plea to praise, but this idea of a movement towards hope of some kind, and most of the Lament Psalms do that. I think what I talk about is not just one can name the trouble in the world, but that's not the same as lamenting it in the sermonic moment. There's a rhetorical substance that is, I think, required for homiletical lament. And that has to do with repetition, that has to do with um, what I think of uh, amplification rhetorically. There, there are ways to actually lament. I can name a certain war that happened but I may just move on and never really lament it. And so I have to stay on that and, and speak about that and grow sort of a, scent, a size. It's really a descent. I think of lament as a homiletical descent. And then hopefully, you know, there is an ascent of some kind um, to provide a sense of hope. But I think it's critical.